I have a use for the for the government authorities to do so. So people are scared about it. Still scared? Scared of their lives? Yes, certainly people are scared, especially in the north. Everyone is dying daily because of fear. Because of what fear. the military does, what the police does, what the government does? Police is totally paralyzed. When we go and make an entry, no action taken. There are the worst part of the police is when we go and make a complaint, they are asking us to bring the culprit or the thief or the murderer. How can we do that? They several times they have asked us. When we made complaint, when we made complaint to this, they say that um, uh, if you find, if you suspect somebody, tell us. They are not. Now see, in our case, there are so many incidents, whole heap of incidents were reported to Jaffna police. Not a single, single incidents, the police filed action or caught anybody. Because it is their own people who are doing it. And your journalists, your staff have been killed and no one has been convicted. No one has been convicted as of today. Several times I brought this to the knowledge of the <coughs> president and also it was taken up by so many journalist institutions. In spite of all their pressures, nothing is happening. The war ended four years ago. Do you still feel afraid being a, a journalist here? No. Our people are not afraid of anybody. If they were afraid, afraid, the day when the gunmen got in to the press and shot dead, when the bodies were here, they were so determined that nights they worked and the following day the paper was released. So that question won the right. And this institution is uh, in existence for the last 30 years almost, next year 30 years. The war almost that period, everything we faced. I think I have given you a file, the file gives you all the incidents. So you will continue to fight for the freedom of the press and for... Exactly. We will continue. And wherever possible, we will highlight. And uh, and uh, all that I expect is that only now the international community has taken their rights to safeguard the uh, journalists and the institutions, press, etc. So that should continue and most probably your delivery of this thing to the world might enhance uh, their interest in looking at the freedom of speech and expression in the north of Sri Lanka.